Hello there. Namaste. This is a uh, Kalki 2898 AD. A glimpse. So this is basically just going to be uh, I assume clips or a one clip. This the film is still in process. So odds are everything will look half baked cuz remember they do CGI and a lot of that stuff post. So if they're still in the middle of doing it, it's basically even a, 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 a teaser wise but even before a teaser we'll see is this dune is this Dune? Okay, I'm going to be completely transparent. I know Dune has a huge fan base. I absolutely enjoy sci-fi. I enjoy fantasy. But for some reason, I have never read Dune. I have never seen Dune. But this is feeling like Dune. Just, just the post-apocalyptic, everything. It looks like another planet entirely. But still, still. It, it, I, we'll see. We'll see. Again, it's just clips. Whoa. Let me, let me look at those. Again, they, they probably haven't done the... <laughs> done the the, 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 the... the gun right there. That gun right there. The shield. <laughs> okay. Again, they haven't added anything to it. What is Project K? You know what? I'm not going to lie. I'm getting a a Dune vibe. Just just off the trail the the glimpse though. I think when the trailer comes out and everything, I might actually have to watch Dune. Uh, of course, the new Dune, not the not the not the old Dune. I'd have to watch Dune and this. You know, just because it has that sort of feel. And I I always uh, say that there are really only f seven stories out there. It's about the interpretation. It's about how you take it, how you run with it, what you do with it. So it could be absolutely phenomenal compared to what Dune is. It could be nothing, uh, absolutely nothing like Dune. It just happens to share a lot of the same aesthetics. So we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I mean, it, it's a glimpse. The, the weapons looked funny just because <laughs> they looked flat. They had no depth to them. They looked like a piece of cardboard, cut out cardboard. Yeah, but they're definitely going to have to do that, the post, in post. But it, honestly, the more you do on set, the easier it is in post for the, the people with the after effects, the one who do the special effects. The more you do in the actual uh, recording, so they probably mapped out the guns to make it easier, where it's like, okay, we could just copy and paste this in after effects, and it'll just trace it. We'll just trace the gun, so that way it looks like it's being 3D rendered. You know, there are a lot of things they can do, tips and tricks, and it seems like they're trying to help out instead of just giving them something to that looks nice for the glimpse. They gave them something to that they're actually going to use later on for the editing process. So it looked like some things were actually edited. Like there was that droid, which honestly looks awesome. The droid. Let's go, let's look at the droid one more time. That, that thing looks awesome. That I like. That right there, I like. I mean, I again. Star Wars. I'm a huge fan of Star Wars. HK-47, one of the best droids. Period. That's it. That's it. BD is a close second, but HK-47 for sure. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm, I mean, it, it looks interesting. It looks interesting. I just feel a lot of Dune from it. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles.